All right, today I'm going to be giving a demonstration on how duress reporting works in security systems. So a lot of you may have wondered uh, how a duress report works, and I'm going to show you just that. A duress report is used to send a silent alarm if you're being forced to disarm the system by a burglar or other intruder. So you can disarm the system using a special key sequence, which will give no indication at the panel that anything is different. However, it will send an additional alarm report to the central station. So here I'm going to arm the panel. There we are, it arms, and this LED comes on, which is actually set up for an arming LED. So that panel is now armed, and we'll be reporting to the central station receiver shortly. And I'm gonna set it to manual mode here, disabling the printer. Because if I don't disable the printer, it prints it, but it doesn't display it. Just how this receiver works. So, with the printer disabled, it'll have a printer trouble that comes back every few minutes, but it will at least display it on the display so you can see the raw alarm code. Now we are reporting using a very slow pulse format, so it's gonna take a while. That LED turns off every time data is being sent and it is on when the... So, actually, I'll just give a little indication here. That, that LED comes on when the line is in trouble. That comes on when it's ringing. That means it's online. There we go. Alarm zone 91. So 91 is the closing code. That confused me for a second because I saw alarm zone 91. Okay. Alarm is used on this receiver as an indication that a pulse code came in because usually pulse was used only to report alarms. However, uh, now it now in the panel you can program all the different report codes for different events. So 91 is a closing report. Now if we come back to the panel and disarm it using the special key sequence, which is entering your code, then zero, then pound. Disarms and gives no indication, but you hear the additional relay click for reporting. Now it's about to re report an opening report as well as a duress alarm. So you'll see that. There's one round of the transmission. There. And we see the event fills up by one, because there's one event in there. Well, it fills up by one because there's one event, but it takes more than one more event to get it to 2%. Currently sending the second alarm. There we are. This takes a second. Now we see alarm on zone. Well, alarm zone just indicates that a pulse report came from account zero. E1. E1. E is the duress report code. One is the keypad address that the duress was sent at, and that keypad is indeed on duress, or on address one. Now if we go to the next event, 51 is a opening report. And there we go. That's the operation of a duress report at the receiver. And I'll turn the printer back on. So now we're back to normal. So I just disable that printer so that I don't use up my very little bit of this paper left, which is not easy to get that paper now. But it works for demonstration purposes. That was a hopefully okay demonstration on how duress reports work.